Well, another day. Let's go find out what the hell this does now. Where are we going? I think we're going to Sheridan Village. Let's see if our friends are here. This is Avium in the past, right? For sure, the air is a different scent here. This is, uh, this is Route 9 specifically. Or is it another area? Time splice of stones are linked. This could be an entirely different part of the region, for all we know. I actually think we're still pretty close to the city called Kyrigan City. That's where Garen City was, uh, that's where Garen City was back then. I see. So we're just supposed to find Sheridan Village with no guide of any kind? I've lived here for a couple of years, and even I don't know where it is. But that's mostly because I barely left the house unless I w went to work at the Kerrigan Cafe. Guys, take a look at the sky. Oh shit. That's an eclipse. More specifically, a solar eclipse. An eclipse. If, if there's an eclipse, that means Spatia and Tempia c should be here. Spatia and Tempia? Yeah, the two beings that have control over time and space. For some reason, they can only appear in the uh, in this time. There's a solar eclipse. Perhaps we should go speak with them. They may know where Sheridan is. Sounds good to me. Do you know where they are? They should be in Amaret Town, which is located north of Kirigan. And where exactly is Kirigan? Well, judging by the fallen meteorites, this place must be Route Four. I believe Route Four is expecting the annual meteor shower too. So what you're saying is that we're standing in the area that's expecting a meteorite to fall on us at any point. Uh, yeah, I suppose that would be the uh, gist of it. Then what are we doing, just standing around? Do you want to be turned into a human pancake? Uh, wouldn't that be nice? Maybe if we were turned into a pancake, you'd be a little sweeter. Ooh, don't get smart with me. They make they make savory pancakes too. Yeah, I've had like cinnamon pancakes. They're good. We can talk about pancakes or whatever later. Let's make our move. I don't know where Route Four is. It's Kirigan City, so. You know, I don't know what it is, but going to Sheridan kind of scares me. Don't get me wrong, I'm really excited to see that Sheridan used to, what Sheridan used to be. I can't help but feel like it's going to end terribly. It's almost as if the Earth is trying to warn me about something. I've never felt anything like this before. Anastasia? Anastasia, darling, where are you? Hmm? Okay, then. What the? I thought the rat was supposed to be dangerous. Maybe she doesn't know about the media. That's supposed to fall soon. Perhaps she should try and warn her. It's possible that she should know. Listen, Melly and Elle will be perfectly fine without us. They should only take a few minutes. Yeah, right? It's not going to take a few minutes, though, is it? It never does. Repel. Alright, where the hell they go? Oh, there we go. Excuse me, this area's pretty dangerous. You shouldn't be walking around here aimlessly. I already know that, but I can't just leave. My daughter ran off this way, and I can't find her. For the life of me. You looking for your daughter? Why'd she run off? Uh, why don't you ask your friend there? They were the one, uh, they were there when she ran away. Cory was there? Yeah, my daughter ran away because I was terrible. I yelled at her for something that wasn't even a fault, but I was panicking and stressed. And now she's run off to this route and she has no idea how much danger she's in. So as you can see, I cannot just leave. I have to look for her before it's too late. Oh, I remember you now. Okay. Well, we can't just leave her here, right? I mean, it's not exactly our problem, but... I don't know if, we could live, I, if I could live myself if I just found out a daughter was killed. Because we did nothing. So I'm gonna keep following her. Whatever. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I don't really care for her that much. The daughter's fine. The mother's kind of a bitch. Oh, that was bad. Okay, this is starting to get a little dangerous. How long is this route anyway? Is it really worth, worth it for us? These quakes are getting stronger. Oh my god, Koi. That meat is about to hit. We're too late. Dun dun dun. Looks like I found our meteor. Oh, damn. Aaron, where's Corey and Alita? Beats me. I thought they were following us. They, they can't both still be a Route 4, right? Uh-oh. Anastasia, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push your buttons. I'm just, just worried about your future, about our future. All I want is for you to be uh, successful, for you to live your life of luxury while this was all said and done. But it was too hard on you. I can only ask you for, uh, for forgiveness. Oh, I don't... And I know it's hard to talk to me because of how I acted, but this isn't the place to quarrel. Very soon a meteor will hit and I can't have you. Oh my god. Now they're dead. Anastasia. Death. Did that seriously just happen? That woman was... Come on, Corey, we have to go see if everything's okay. She dead. She did. So, kid, you're an orphan now. Uh, where were... Uh, there we go. Oh, why not? 
I thought for sure that was a go I was a goner. Thank you so much for saving me, uh... Vivian. My name is Vivian. Oh. Hold your thanks. The worst isn't over yet. What do you mean? The media brought a friend with it. Deoxys? Hmm. Is it- Oh, it is Deoxys. Huh. What is that abomination? Hey, lady, don't- I don't exactly appreciate calling it an abomination. Whether it's from space, alternate worlds, or from the very same route, we all share the same sky, isn't that right? I mean, I suppose, but the thing looks angry. You're right, it does look angry. I can't say I like the idea of harming the thing. But I guess I didn't really have to do it myself this time. Hey kid, you think you could do me a solid? I appreciate it. Yeah? I appreciate your enthusiasm, go for it. No problem. What level are you? Level 1. <laughs> I'm gonna catch it. Well, turns out I couldn't catch it, so just gotta die then. Okay then. Sorry, Deoxys, but I couldn't have uh, I couldn't have you causing problems. Cory, Lita, what are you guys doing? I thought you were following us. Well, this woman was running around the this route, and I, I recalled Melia saying a meteor was expected soon. I had to warn her, otherwise she would have just gotten herself killed, and she almost did. I was looking for my daughter. She ran off in this direction. I couldn't just leave leave her here. You're lucky I was around, but I can't help but think low of you. Why'd your own child run away from you? It's because I was a bad mother. I forced my ideals on it too much. I yelled at it for something that wasn't even her fault, but I was stressed and I... I'm not a parent, but the best thing you can do is just get your child to hate you. Is to force your ideals upon them. They aren't yours to control. They are living beings of the universe. You must guide them as a parent, yes, but you must let them make their own choices. I understand. All I wanted was for Anastasia to take over Rejuvenation Co. when she was older. Rejuvenation Co.? I'm the president of that company. Oh yes, I've heard about that co uh, corporation. You wish to restore the Myria region to it, is that correct? Once the Myria region is restored, we can all go back. We don't need to live in Avium anymore. Hang on, Myria region? What, you don't know the Myria region? How could you not? These kids can be educated in the history another time. For now, I believe it's only appropriate for you to hold, uh, head back home. What about Anastasia? I can't just leave her out here by herself. She's just a child of Rocky's sake. She'll turn up eventually. Can I ask you one, uh, one of your kids to escort the city back home? I suppose I'll do it. Gives me the opportunity to learn my surroundings. Are you sure you're okay? You look like you want to vomit. Honey, that's just because I do. Now, take me home, please. Sure. Fair, she almost did die. What are your names? Well, I'm Melia. My friend who just left is Aaron. This is Alita, and that's Cory. I see. Cory, I must say, you, you battled incredibly well. I'm almost a little scary. It's almost a little scary how easily you handle that Deoxys. It was level 1. Me has been following this area often lately. Each meteorite in this area held one Deoxys. I had to destroy each one of them before. Got out of hand. It's barbaric, but it was necessary. I'm gonna interrupt you for a little quick second. You said your name was Vivian? Yeah, that's my name. I knew it. Could it possibly be that you're the Sensei of Sheridan? Oh, so you know me then? I'm impressed. I'm the Sensei of Sheridan Village. Though to be honest, I'm not much of a Sensei anymore. Would it be possible to tell us where Sheridan Village is? It's east of Kirigan Woods. It's not that difficult to find. But, uh, why, why are you three interested in Sheridan Village? I can't exactly say it's a place for terrorism. We're just interested in the culture is all. Uh-huh. Fine. You're welcome to visit us anytime. I have to go for now, though. See you soon, then, yeah? She's suspicious. Alita, how do you know that this user is Sensei Sheridan? Because I'm from Sheridan Village. I always thought that the Vivian was the first, very, very first sensei. This is the past, correct? I just made an assumption that just happened to be true. So you got lucky. Guess so. Convenient. Anyway, before we go to Sheridan Village, there's one place I'd like to visit. Does that have to do with those two spaceship and Tempia? Yeah, they should be in Amberette Town. I guess Sheridan can wait. The Eclipse is about to be over anyway. C can you take me with you? Oh, you're gonna get a Deoxys for yourself then? You okay? I'm not scary. I'll be your friend if you want. Do you know what friend is? Yeah, she can have- uh, Deoxys is not that bad of a Pokemon. It's not evil. Like a space virus. So are they here? They're, the, they're either here or in the lab. Probably in the lab then. They're around here somewhere. Uh, I don't recall seeing you before. So are they here? So I'm not home right now. I'll be out of town for the next few weeks. Okay, house number three then. Spatia, temp. Okay, there we go. I don't get it. Why aren't they here? The eclipse ended, Malia. Perhaps we're too late. It's true they can only appear when there's a clip when an eclipse happens. 
but I remember Tempia saying they can linger around a few days after, till the power is completely drained. I was so sure they were going to be here. And correct you were, Amelia. Ever heard of being fashionably late? One on a time, but this time is a, but time is a social construct anyway. That's a relief. I thought you guys really weren't going to be here. My, my, Amelia. You look different. I see Cory and Alita here as well. Guess that means your mission at Black Steeple Castle was successful, to some degree. It was, but a lot has happened since then. I have no doubt about what you, uh, about that. Now tell me, what is it you want? Surely something ails you. Yeah, I was going to ask you something important. You're going to ask if there's anything we could do for your friend, uh, Veronica? That's exactly why I came. Is it possible for us to revive your friend and everyone that was affected by the nasty curse? Really? That's outstanding. But we won't. Oh. You won't revive them? Why not? That's not really our job, nor our problem. We were given the task to save the world from Storm Nine, that's all. We won't interfere with life of mortals. But you decide to interfere with mine. I know it was you who teleported the Zen Brigade to Tamazu Shore. It was you who, uh... It was you two who saved me from Team Zen and Amethyst Cave all that time ago. You must understand one thing, Malia. We don't interfere with the lives of mortals unless we are directly told to. I don't understand. I thought the function was brought up by you two. Aren't you the ones who call the shots? To some degree, yes. Think of us as admins of an organization. We do what Her Majesty tells us to do. Who is Her Majesty? You'll learn soon enough. Melly, I'm sorry to break it to you, but this seems like a complete waste of time. Melly, can I ask you a question? What's more important? The fate of a single life or the fate of the majority? What? Huh? What if the world decided in two outcomes? Veronica dies and the world is saved? Or Veronica lives and there are millions of casualties? What would you do in a situation like that? What kind of question is this? I won't answer that. But what if you must? What if everything is up to you in the end? Is, there really, is that really fair to ask? Would anyone be able to answer that question? The answer to this question is a no-brainer for us. If it, were up to, if it were up to us, Veronica would die for the lives of the majority. That anger in your eyes, that's something new. Melia, you can't save uh, everyone. People are destined to perish in this world. Whether it be for themselves or for the greater good. It's something that can, cannot be avoided. You know what? I'm done listening. You can all go about your ideals and whatever, but I'm done listening. We have somewhere we want to be. Thanks for the chat. Before you go, I have something for you three. What is it? One for you, one for you, and one for Cory. Time gear? That's an amulet? Not really one for jewelry. Not just any amulet, but crafted with uh, one of my time gears. The time gear. It's an object that allows the flow of time to be controlled. However, they may have some other side effects, some of which you'll discover very soon. I appreciate it, I guess. Bye. Well, thanks. Weird, but thanks. One day you'll learn, Malia. One day. Gonna be outside? I thought I could trust those two, but after hearing that... If it came to it, it'd probably throw us under the bus if it meant their success. It's probably not worth going crazy over. They've got their moral ambiguities type of personality. That's just their line of thinking, and I don't really think we can change that. Uh, hey, Aaron. Thanks for forgetting about me, guys. Really appreciate that. You're lucky the path to Emberett Town is pretty straightforward. Sorry about that, Aaron. Don't sorry me, just don't do it again. Did you guys talk to those two you mentioned earlier? Yeah, then it wasn't exactly a really exciting conversation. Can I ask you a question, Aaron? Ask away. What would you do if you were put in a situation that required you to choose between the greater good and, and the one you care about a lot? That's a deep question. I'd sacrifice the one I loved. Ooh, you'd sacrifice them? Both options suck, but I think it'd be better for me if I didn't have the blood of millions on my hands. But if you think about it, the blood of one can stain your hands just as bad as the blood of many. Is there any clear answer for the question like that, then? Probably not. Somehow I knew you'd answer the question with some long explanation like that. Let's just head to Sheridan Village. It's east of Kirigan Woods, right? I suppose. We all going, then? No more chit-chat? Oh, Melly is naive. It's, it's like, ah, uh, it's like she never grew up. That sense of heroism is re isn't realistic, and it's gonna bite her in one of these days. But who am I to judge? It probably wouldn't hurt to use your imagination at least once in a while. One versus one million. I suppose it really depends who the one million are. Like, is it a... Oh, yes. Like, is the one million just a city full of rapists, thieves, and etc.? Or is it a, a one million of a random, just giant city? Okay, east of Sheridan Woods. Sheridan... Oh, not Sheridan... The, the Woods. The Woods. Yes. So, we're in Sheridan Village. Let's see if I can find a sensei. 
This seems to be it, Sheridan Village. It's so much different from what, what, uh, what I imagined it would look like. Has Sheridan really changed this much? The calamity ripped Avian apart, Alita. It doesn't surprise me that this place looks entirely different. Now we're here, what do we, what do we need to do? Sada said the answer Alita was looking for would be here somewhere. I guess all there is to do is look for it now, right? And when the world breaks, the land shall be shaped. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's singing. Let's go check it out. Alright. Not really one for singing, but maybe this way. When one chooses to defy their fate, they may find themselves with a destiny too great. Okay, this seems logical. A prison of ice should that suffice if one should wait and maybe too late. Oh god, it's gonna be her. Wait. Yep. Yeah. Ah, so there you finally new uh, there you newcomers are to this poor uh. Oh, so there are finally newcomers to this poor old village. Oh god, it is her. I think it's past her though. Welcome to Sheridan Village, children. My name is Angie. Not Angie? I'm surprised you know me that by that name. Angie's not my real name, but the name my people of Crystalline have given me. It means angel or messenger of God. Which sort of fits because of my profession. Profession? Yes, I spread the word of our Lord Arceus. A greater preacher, just what we needed. Common words of a skeptic. No worry. You are all allowed to believe what you will. Just as I am allowed to spread Arceus love throughout Avium. You're nothing like... Nothing like... Is there something I remind you of? It's nothing. I'm just thinking to myself was all. I see you made some friends, Andrew. Wow, I didn't expect you all to be here so quickly. You know these people? Yeah, they were working... Uh, they were people who helped me back on Route 4. Before I go on, this is my assistant, uh, Kella. Pleased to meet you. Well, now you're here, did you find what you were looking for? We're not exactly looking for something, we're just visiting. I see. Then forgive me for assuming you wanted something from Sheridan. Will you be staying here for the night? If so, I can arrange a place for you all to stay. There's plenty of room now, after all. I'm gonna back, uh... I'm going back on a run. Please enjoy your stay. Alright. Not Vivian. She still can't manage to sit still for even a moment. She invites me all the way down here from Crystalline, and she doesn't even take the time to talk to me. She's always been like that. Even when we were kids, she just ran off. Because of that, she she loved. I'm sorry if this place isn't what you expected. The village has dwindled quite a bit. But there's a time and place for that discussion. For now, let me show you where you'll be staying for the night. Okay, south. Easy. I don't want to keep you waiting. Please, we can talk more later. Thank you for your time. Well, you're not an evil bitch right now, so that's nice. This one, then? This is where they'd be staying for the night. The people who lived here moved away recently, so this place is completely empty. They've even said there was plenty of room a few moments ago. Is she referring to the fact there's almost no one here? Anyway, this is where you'll be sleeping all. I hope you enjoy your stay. Okay, don't answer the questions. It's painful. You all, can I ask you a small favor? Once you get settled and all, could you meet me in my house? There's something I need to talk to you about. Of course, Stella. I will be, uh, we'll be there soon. Thanks. To the east. What was that all about? No idea, but it's clear she's hiding something. Now I'm sure she'll tell us when we visit the house. Let's go regroup inside for, for now. Radio. A quaint little shack, but what else do you expect in a place called Sheridan Village? Melia, you called Angie Angie for it. Isn't Angie the one who caused everyone trouble in Tamaju? That Angie, uh, Angie person is definitely Angie without a doubt. But I don't understand what she's doing here. She's also like a totally different person. It's a bit scary to me. Melia, calm down. He's starting to shiver. Give her a break. It's obvious that whoever this Angie person is traumatized her. Every time I think about Angie, I can't help but get a shiver down my spine. I don't really want to be here anymore, but we have to do so, so I'll just try to act natural. I can't imagine that we'll be staying here too that long. Just stay strong for the team. That being said, something's been bothering me. So, something that woman sent her out for, the one that I asked her back home. Katsu was her name. When I took her home, she started to talk to me. She told me about how she was the president of Re Rejuvenation Corporation. She mentioned this before to all of us. The problem was that she was detailing an event that I don't think I've ever heard of, and that I've read too many and, I, and I've read many, many history history books. Apparently, everyone in this region is in some way an immigrant from the Maria region. A few years ago, a nuclear power plant exploded and the entire population was evacuated all at once. Eventually, the people of Maria found their way home here to Avium. Katsu's Corporation Rejuvenation Co. is working on a way to store the Maria region so that people can return home one day. Okay, have you ever heard of that event ever happening? But it looks in your faces, this is the first time hearing it, about this. How is it an event that ca uh, catastrophic isn't widely known? Doesn't that strike you as odd? I don't really have an answer for that, Aaron. It's very strange indeed. 
I don't really need an answer. It's just something to think about, you know? Whatever. Zelia's waiting for us at a house, isn't she? Yeah, we shouldn't keep waiting. Okay, let's head over then. Well, I hope it's not too far away. I don't really know which house it is, but there's only like a few houses here. Probably this one. There we go. You're all here. Now I'm waiting for one more person. Could that person pass me? Good, you're all here now. Listen, there's something I need your help with. It's Mal Vivian, isn't it? Precisely. You see, I think there's something wrong with her. Something wrong with Vivian? What do you mean, Keller? About four months ago, my fiancé suddenly died. I'm very sorry to hear that. It's fine. That's not a problem, though. After I lost my fiancé, Vivian contacted me and invited me to stay in Sheridan and be your assistant. Vivian and I are childhood friends, and I was in such a bad spot that I accepted it immediately. I quit my job being a lawyer and moved in. Everything was fine for a while until Vivian started to get depressed. She wouldn't tell me what it was about because she didn't want to scare me. Vivian depressed? I'm not sure those two things could even be associated. That's what I thought too, but I'm not sure that's that's the case. You've all noticed nobody lives in Sheridan anymore. All of Vivian's followers loved her because she started to neglect them. Deja vu. Before I got into that, I have a confession, Andrew. Vivian wasn't the one who invited you to Sheridan. I was the one who called you. Well, that makes sense, considering Vivian hasn't really been playing atten uh, paying attention to me at all. Vivian told me that you're part of a group, the Protectors of Avium. The Protectors of Avium? Correct. It's a group of native citizens of Avium who strive to keep the region safe from evil. The group consists of me, Vivian, a woman named Hazuki, and our leader Naemia. People native to Avium? I couldn't get in t uh, contact with Hazuki, and I'm sure uh, Nemiria is busy, so... I need you all to help figure out what's wrong with Vivian before something ha uh, bad happens. Well, I don't know about the rest of us, but I'm willing to help in any way I can. I want to help as well. Why not? I think we're all happy to help. Any way we can, Celia? Thank you. That makes me that makes me happy. I'll try to think of something for tomorrow, but for now, please relax and enjoy your stay. Oh. Hey. Going left? Let's go left. Let's go find your ass. Probably up here. Vivian. That's a bell. It's probably not. Okay, the house then, perhaps? She definitely ran this way. What are you up to? Okay. Uh, sure. I don't know what I'm gonna expect here. Uh, what's going on here? Vivian? And on the 100th night, I purify my body for the 100th time. I give my body, I give my soul, I give my mind to you. May Arceus' guiding light shine upon me. Okay. This is getting weird. I prayed here for 100 days and 100 nights. You blessed me with the spring of purification, and you've given me the ability to heal, uh, heal the earth. And with that ability, I've heard the earth reach out to warn me about the future. This planet, the Pokemon of nature itself, Something unspeakably terrible is about to unfold, and we all feel it. And we reach out to you, O Lord Arceus, but you ignore our call. Everyone I could ever hope to love is in danger, and there's no sign from you, whatsoever. I can feel someone watching me. But, I know it's nothing. Not you. Oh. Hey. Damn you. I suppose there's no longer any point in my devotion to you. You bless me, and you, Hanzuki, and Nimiya, and all- Eh, whatever. We're in, a world of, we're in a world that God has abandoned. Not even my tears can ease the pain this time. Fine then. I know what I must do. What I'm, I must do to save the world. Oh great. You're going to be a cultist too now? Oh, wrong key. Better not disturb her. Yeah, that's probably for the I know that you were listening to me, Corey. Please come here for a moment. Tell me. What's the one thing that's most important to you in your life? My friends? Friendship is indeed important. My friends, Sala, Andrew, Suzuki, Nimiria, that's all I have in this life. Cory, would you sacrifice your life for the sake of others? Sure. That's a noble answer, Cory. That's something I cannot explain. I can feel the very presence of every living being around me. For a couple of years now, I've felt new presence pop up suddenly around. Kirigan, Amber at town. Most recently, I felt the presence of four people appear suddenly in Route 4. I went to go investigate, but what would I find but your group? What's constitutes of four, uh, four members? Strange, isn't it? It's light. You should go back to your friends and rest. Oh, and a word of advice. I think once tomorrow comes, you and your friends should leave. 
Wherever you all came from, return to it. This region's days are numbered. Oh shit. She's gr- uh, she's worried. Ah, oh, cool, you're finally awake. Something matter? You overheard Vivian talking to herself at the spring of purification? Did she specifically say what she was doing? Then we have, no, then we have to find out for ourselves. If that's the case, then I'm sure this will be the right thing to do for sure. So what's your plan? You said you'd have one by today. And I've thought of one. Wait right on us then. A long time ago, a boy with white hair visited the village. He was an acqu acquaintance of Vivian, apparently. A boy with white hair? I'm sorry, but did you catch the name? Uh, they, did, uh, they did tell me the name, but I don't remember it at all. I think it was something like Kennedy, Keith, maybe Ca Cannon. Yes, that was his name. His name was Cannon. When Cannon visited Vivian, he gave her the cryptic look, uh, looking book. Vivian started acting weird ever since he, he, she got that book. I'm sure of it. So what do, you want to, what do you want us to do? I'm going to need someone to go into Vivian's house when she's not there and retrieve that book. You want us to break into her house and steal something? When you put it like that, it sounds horrible. But that's essentially what we must do. Not sure about this. If Vivian's in trouble, then we have to do our best to help her. If it turns out she's fine and we broke into her house for nothing, then I'll take full responsibility for this. You, but this is my idea after all. If things go south, it's my fault. Don't worry about it. You can count on me. Why, else in, uh, why are you also uh, concerned all of a sudden? It's nothing, I just want to help, is all. Uh-huh. I'm not so sure I approve of this, but if you really feel like Vivian's in trouble, I'll be willing to help. Count me in. I'm internally grateful to all of you, thank you. As for my plan, we're going to have to keep uh, lure Vivian out of her house and keep occupied for a small length of time. And to do that, I'm going to craft a stink bomb. A stink bomb? Yes, Vivian and I used to create them when we were younger. I guess you could say we like pranking people. Anyway, we're going to need some interesting materials to make this work. And those are... Well, east of here is a place called Heracross Woods. It's a place where Heracross and various other Pokemon live. It's also a place where you'd find a lot of Heracross droppings. Pokemon shit. I know it sounds foul, but it's really easy to gather and really simple... I'll even supply a pair of gloves and a jar to put it in. Eh, uh, whatever, we'll do it. Talk about having a shitty job, do, do we really have to? We've been through worse, I'm sure we can get through this just fine. Very uh, good. Andrew, I'll need you to help me construct the actual thing. As of Koi, Melia, Alita, and Aaron, you can go to Heracross Woods and gather droppings. Let's go. Yay, I get to collect Pokemon shit. What fun! And that's enough for today, though, so thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you did. If not, just thank you for watching the episode, and I appreciate you all for watching. When I come back tomorrow, Pokemon shit. Till then, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Zs.